The KMT's Ding So Jong, who narrowly lost Taipei's 2018 mayoral election to Ko wen will launch a second court challenge over the election result. He's already taken his case to the Taipei District Court, which rejected his request to nullify the voting outcome. But Ding won't go down without a fight. He says he'll file an appeal at a higher court to make his case that the voting process and ballot count were rife with flaws. Following the rejection of his case in the district court, Ding has decided to appeal. He said that the district court judges had deemed the plaintiff unprofessional, saying it didn't have a contingency plan and failed to exercise strategic forethought. Ding said it was unfathomable that judges who felt this way could rule against his case. There were queues stretching out 100, 200 meters from the polling stations. You people at the Central Election Commission said all these people had all arrived at the polling place before the deadline, so all of them could vote. But the law is a law, and when it's time to enforce it, you don't use the relevant provisions. Ding argues that the Central Election Commission had arbitrarily redefined the boundaries of a polling station. He also blamed the polling authority for letting voters use mobile phones while waiting in line. Take the lotto, for example. Let me ask you all. Say that as you're picking numbers, they're over there drawing the numbers. Do you think that would affect your chances? The main purpose of our appeal today is to establish a fair system for democratic elections in Taiwan. Ding argued that at least 8 percent of Taipei's voters cast their ballots after the polls officially closed. He said their ballots were decisive in the election, which was won by a razor-thin margin of 0.25 percentage points.